Okay, so before we get into this video, if y'all wouldn't mind doing me, then DM me. You heard that correctly. No, say yeah, yeah. I don't need any favors this time. Unless they um, you know um, se se sexual favor. Look, man. Before we get into this video, if y'all wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor because it really does help. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and please share this video if you like it. Thank you. I too now peep game. All right, so with the recent antics I've been seeing over the internet from a specific individual, I thought now is the perfect time for me to talk to y'all about clout chasing. Okay, so just a little disclaimer real quick. Along with a few others, y'all know who's going to get mentioned in this video. So before his fans come over here and try to say I'm either obsessed with this man or chasing clout myself, just know this. I am a content creator. I create content based off of the content that I see on the internet. So when I make these videos, I'm basing these videos off of what I see from the blog sites that I follow. I do not follow this individual personally. This video is about clout chasing, and we all know who's the biggest clout chaser of them all. So I'm scrolling on the gram, right? Come across DJ Academics page, and I see this. What happened? You don't want no smoke? You girl in the car? Go ahead, tough nigga. What happened? You see the energy in person? Bitch ass nigga. Fucking ho. I just know that this is not coming from the same individual that had this energy in person. No, 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 chill. I'll give you, I'll give you everything. I'll let you give me your fucking anal virginity too. Look, where is this loud ass aggressive six nine that we see all the time from behind a phone? You are constantly saying, look at what happens when niggas see me in person. Nigga, look at what happened. When niggas saw you in person without security. That's when the real Daniel Hernandez came out. But now look, let me tell y'all about this clout chasing thing. Last week, he posted the video of him confronting Meek Mill. What did he do directly after that? He dropped the song to get as much publicity as he possibly could. Before dropping the song, he released that video of him confronting Meek Mill. Then, the other day, he said, I'm going to go live in two hours. In two hours, this is what he posted. Yo, why are you recording now? Something what happened. Why are you recording, pussy? Why are you recording, pussy? Give me the call. Give me the call. Give me the call. call. Give me the 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 no! Fuck out of here, bro! No, I'm like, you're going to shoot me, nigga. Shoot me right here! Shut, shut, please, shut, please. I, I'll give you everything, hard. Well, nigga, we know that. Nigga, how many times you gonna tell a nigga? We know you gonna give it up. All right, look, I don't know what y'all gonna say. You're gonna say, oh yeah, well, Daquan, you've never been in that type of situation. Yes, the fuck I have. Literally made a whole story telling y'all how I got robbed. You know what I'm saying? And I had niggas, plenty of niggas, pull guns on me. Plenty. Nigga, the only time I can say I really bitched up is when a nigga pulled a gun on me and shot straight at me. Dumbest shit I've ever done in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here trying to fight this nigga, right? This nigga goes to the car, pulls out a gun. I get on my Geechee Gotti shit. I said, nigga, you's a bitch. You ain't about to. This nigga pulled the shit and said, nigga, I'm tired of bullshitting with you. Bow. Shot that shit straight at me. Soon as I heard the bullet hit the building, I was like, yup, this nigga ain't bullshitting. I'ma holla at you. Took my ass right back in the crib. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I ain't got a death wish. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those niggas that's gonna sit there and try to fake it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not too tough. Nigga, I'm not bulletproof. I ain't Luke Cage. What happened, son? Come on, y'all. Huh? Please, please. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. 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 Come I was scared. I was scared. 
Let's continue. Nigga with no clothes when I'm leaving, nigga. That's a fact, this nigga's pussy, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? This nigga's pussy. This nigga's pussy. What's up, nigga? Now he with all my chains and left all my jewelry. Fuck you, your dead man, nigga. I got all my chains on. Just imagine hearing this again. Where the fuck is everything, eh? Get in the car with us, man. Bye, nigga. I know that voice has to haunt you. So let's hear it again. Where the fuck is everything, eh? It's like music to my ears. Look, y'all know the only reason why I'm taunting this man is because of the things that he does. Why do you keep bringing up people's dead homies? All for clout at that. Like, is attention really that necessary for you at this point in your career that you need to keep mentioning dead people? Dead people, I might add, that you would have never in your life spoken to the way you are on the internet had you not had your paid on security and not been under witness protection. Now I know what y'all are gonna say. What about the people in Chicago that do it? Oh, you, you mean the same people that either live in Chicago or have to go back to Chicago to face the consequences behind what they do or say when they diss these dead people. Let's say for instance, King Vaughn, there's plenty of dead people and he went to Chicago without armed security, without being under witness protection. FBG Duck made a song called Dead Bitches, dissing a whole bunch of dead people. And guess where the fuck he lived at? In Chicago. Now does that make it any better? Absolutely not. The fact that these dudes are willing to place their lives in danger just to diss a dead person does not make it any better at all. But at least these dudes are willing to face the consequences behind their actions. They're not trying to hide behind something. And that is the difference between them and 6 9 We literally just watched the real you. Before you had all of the security and stuff like that, we see the type of person that you actually are. It's just that you are influencing these kids and other people to do this type of shit. Now, this is why I say that this man is most definitely cloud chasing. Coming from an overthinking individual like myself, I overanalyze everything. So I personally think that these videos that he posted were staged. And let me tell y'all why. We all know 6 9 rolls around security. We saw when someone else pulls out a phone, i.e. the Meek Mill situation. Look at what showed from the opposite side of 6 ix 9 You know what I'm saying? Security. 6 ix 9 posts these two videos. How come when you posted these videos, there's absolutely no security around? Now granted, his security is paid to protect him, but do you honestly think that they would allow him to put his life and their lives more at risk? All just for some clout? Now let me talk about his influential behavior. This man does all this online. He does the Meek Mill video and then these last two videos of him pressing people. Then I go on Academics page and see this. You a pussy, nigga. You a pussy. You, go ahead. What you gonna shoot me? You the phone for a guy. Nigga, cause you reaching, bitch. And nigga, what do you think you're doing? Reaching for clout. Notice that the first thing Playboy Cardi says is, why are you pulling out the phone? Which is a very legitimate question. Why are you pulling out the phone? Nigga, because you want clout. Any nigga that walks up on you with their phone out trying to start problems with you obviously wants clout more than they want smoke. You a pussy, nigga. You a pussy. Who does that sound like? Hey, you chill. pussy, nigga. Chill, That's chill. A fat, you pussy. Hey, what you gonna shoot you me? You pulling out the phone for a game. Nigga, because you reaching, bitch. I'm saying, I don't you know reaching. You game. I don't know you. Yo, bro. now you want to talk, nigga? Now you want to talk? The nigga was minding his business. The nigga didn't want to talk to you. The nigga didn't even want to acknowledge your existence. Put the brother. pistol down and, and, and fight brother. me, nigga. It's your Put the pistol down and it's fight me. Nigga, don't worry about who I am, nigga. Don't worry about who you are? Bro, you are a random nigga that runs up on a very famous rapper who had no clue you ever even existed until you did this. Why the fuck would he not ask who you are? This is what I mean, bro. This clout chasing shit gonna get one of you niggas hurt. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, nigga, man. Yeah, nigga, you reaching, boy. Cause nigga, if I reach, boy, you dead, nigga. Boy, I'll reach then game, nigga. I don't need no pistol to whoop a pussy ass nigga ass like you bitch ass nigga. Hey, you put your hands on my sister again, boy. Ain't nobody putting nothing on this shit, boy. What? Nigga, I would've been like, ain't nobody putting nothing on your sister, but this dick. So anyways, that confrontation continues until it becomes an altercation when Playboy Cardi ends up smacking this dude. Now, do I think that was real? I don't know because it was a lot of things dealing with that video that I just... It felt were staged. The main reason why I felt it was staged because this random guy just walks up to Playboy Cardi and if you were walking up to him to confront him about what he did to your sister, you would think that's how you would initiate this confrontation. Now, on to my favorite cop chaser, Cam Cold Heart. Come on, you a bitch. Y'all look at this nigga the baby. 
That, that nigga the baby in here talking some shit. He walking up on me and shit like he about to do something. Now, even if he did walk up on you, we didn't see that part until you decided to pull out a phone. What you don't do? What you taking your shit off for? What you don't do? Bad boys, bad boys. What you don't do? What you don't do when we come for you? Cody. Get away. You scary ass nigga. Get away. Get the police. Get away. You nigga so get scared, away. boy. Oh, I can make a go fire. Come by your shit, don't be scared. Get away. Come by your shit. Come by your shit. Get away. Come by your shit. Get away. Cam cold heart. Get away. Get the fucking cold heart. What? Now y'all know I can't show that part. You know what I'm saying? But I can most definitely show y'all the aftermath. Huh, Cam cold heart. Huh, Cam cold heart. I'm the truth, nigga. Not the mouth. Me. Dolo. I'm the truth. Quit playing with me, boy. Quit playing with me, boy. Pick your pants up, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck wrong with him. Fuck wrong with him. Oh my God. When I tell y'all that is my most favorite clout chasing victim. Oh my God. I love to see it. Pick your pants up, nigga. See, look, this is what should happen to all of you clout chasing ass niggas so y'all can start understanding there are consequences to your actions. Especially if you are out here antagonizing people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would not be surprised if Playboy Cardi put that nigga on a shirt. Look, man, I don't ever want to be the victim of a clout chaser, nor do I ever want a clout chaser to become a victim in general. So look, man, y'all need to learn. There are con there are real consequences behind what you do and what you say on the internet, especially when you are antagonizing street niggas. One thing I can say is this, as disrespectful and as annoying Takashi may be with his clout chasing antics, he's at least getting some type of profit, some type of income off of this. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously his album sales are not, you know, matching up with the views that he's getting, but at least he's gaining something from it. With all of you other dudes out there that do this shit just for attention, ask yourself, is attention really worth it? Another thing you need to ask yourself is this, after you gain the clout, then what? How do you capitalize off of it? You know what I'm saying? Because most of y'all will just be known as a clout chaser. So with all of that being said, Thank y'all for watching this video, man. Y'all, I really hope y'all learned something from this. Please don't go out there and chase clout. Definitely if you're a fan of me, you know what I'm saying? I hope I'm not encouraging that type of behavior because I would never in my life want y'all to be a victim of a clout chaser, you know what I'm saying? Or be the victim, be the clout chaser. Don't be anything like that. Like I said, why would you want that type of attention? You know what I'm saying? That's not the type of attention that you need. If anything, get people to love you, not hate you. You know what I'm saying? So, until the next video. I knew in the beginning I was different Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen Put my foot on the gas and now I get it I look back for my niggas and they was missing I double back and went and got them, I won't leave them